Tremendous controversy uh, is growing about the safety in our sport, and that's one of the reasons for the discussion of synthetic surfaces. Uh, I'm going to ask you about use of a whip for a jockey. Now, Jerry Bailey came out on the media and said that he believes, even though when he was a jockey he carried one and it has a purpose, he thinks that if for the safety of the sport all jockeys could no longer use a whip, he believes the competition would still be fair. So my question to you is, do you feel that uh, this could change the sport tremendously, or do you feel that everyone would just ride at their best without a whip? And it's a two-part question. Do you think we'd get the same performance out of the horses, the same times? Or how would this change if they said to you, George, you can't ride without a whip? How would you feel about that? Well, first of all, you get, uh, without a whip, you get very tired on top of the horses because you're just pumping. You're just hand riding and hand riding, and you get very tired. But you're not going to get the same performance of of the horse without the whip, because some horses are kind of lazy, and when you hit them, they kind of respond. They give a little extra, and that's what you're looking for. Uh, I don't think uh, the only my opinion is that you could reduce the amount of hitting. Instead of hit the horse 15, 20, 25 times, you say, well. From the quarter pole to the wire, you, you are allowed to hit the horse eight times or five times. And it's going to give you the, the little extra you need in, in those five times. So what you're saying is your solution, because there's going to be tremendous discussions across the country about various ways to improve the safety of racing for the public's sake. And you're recommending, rather than eliminating the whip altogether, to have a limit how many times a jockey could use the whip. And also, I guess, a little bit of an objective opinion that they're not beating the horse, which all of us in the circles know no jockey beats a horse. We all have a passion for the animal. That's not the point. The point is to wake him up, as you said. Right. And in fact, it could take him out of danger's way. If you see that they're veering too much to one side, you mm -hmm. want them away from danger. Correct. Exactly. So your solution is to minimize the number of minimize times, and that could be reviewed. Minimize the number of times, and then that be a, a good solution, I believe, because uh, uh, you can't go hunting without a gun. And if you're going to go out to ride a horse in a competition without a whip, I mean, it doesn't make sense because, like I say, some horses, they need to be wake up. And uh, how are you going to wake them up? With a whip. Okay. Fair. Last, last uh, thought here. I'm delving into a little personal territory. But uh -oh. the first time we ever met, you walked into my office and you saw a picture on the wall and you said, do you mind if I sign that picture? And I said, I didn't know who you were. And I said, who are you? And you said, well, that's Stevie Cawthon on Affirmed, and that's me on Alador. So I'm pulling this picture out on purpose. Uh-oh. I'm pulling this out. We'll film this. But does it seem like 30 years ago? I'll tell you the truth, no. Not that. 30 it, years it, ago. It, it's, it's completely fresh in my mind, you know. Every time I look at the pictures or I see the films, it's like it happened yesterday. And I know you, you, years. you put maybe a couple pounds on since then, just a couple, right? Come on, Dad. Come on. <laughs> Be nice, will you please? Yeah, well, since I retired, which was back in 97, I put on 20 pounds. Okay. One more question on that. Do you think jockeys should be allowed to ride at a little higher weight, or do you think that's unfair? I think it should be, the scale of weights should be a little higher. Uh, but it's going to be the same problem. You know, because and then bigger guys are going to come into the, to, the, to learn how to ride. And then it's going to be the same pro type of problem that uh, they are a little bit too big. Right. You know, and if you want to become a rider, you want to be a jockey, you should just go to a nutritionist and watch your weight carefully, do it at the right amount and the right things, and, and dedicate yourself to it and, and you're going to make it eventually if you have the ability and you got a little bit of luck. You know? George, if I could ask you, I know that we as human athletes, we sense the competition. We know that they're coming and uh, it brings out a better performance in us. Is the same true for a horse? I believe so. I believe that uh, every time they meet, I firm Alida, uh, I thought I had a good chance to beat him. You know? 
So there was not, I was not afraid of, of a firm. I just couldn't wait to the next competition. So, because I'm sure I'm going to beat him this time, you know. And uh, this, this thing happens. In the movie Seabiscuit, they showed a point several times in the film where Seabiscuit would get up next to one of the other horses and they made a big production out of looking in his eye. And then that was the motivation to move on. Now, is that all Hollywood or is there some truth to that? No, there is some truth to that because uh, actually they, when they're running, uh, if, if you get a close look, they're looking to each other. Uh, they'll be looking to every little thing they see on the track to jump or to duck away from. And they go, they're pricking their ears and all that stuff. <clears throat> so there's, this, there's some horses, they, they, they look in your eye, on the other horse eye, and then they're like, okay, let's go, let's, come on. Many years ago, I boxed a little bit, and I know that eye contact was a big motivating factor. Sometimes you got afraid, and sometimes it gave you a little bit more courage. <laughs> That's so, right. I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come here. I appreciate it. You're a class act, my friend. Thank you, Dan. I'm glad to be here.